हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज शोमैन फ्रॉम ऑयल एंड गैस फील्ड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल टुडे अगेन वन सब्जेक्ट एम्फोसाइजिंग पाइपलाइन वी यूज टू हियर अबाउट द टर्म एफटीए और फुल थ्रस्ट एंकर डू यू हैव एन आइडिया व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ एंकर्स आर अवेलेबल व्हाई यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग एंकर्स व्हाट इज द थियोरी और द फॉर्मूला बिहाइंड इट लेट अस स्टार्ट फ्रेंड्स First of all what are the three types of pipeline basically we are having in oil and gas field essentially three major types of pipeline we are having along the transportation route one is gathering system one for transmission system and distribution system gathering pipeline systems gather raw natural gas from production wells you can see the flow lines trunk line what is the difference between anchorage and anchor Anchorage means a secure connection point for a fall protection system whereas anchors must be of the right type for the work and must be installed correctly they are part of fall protection system designed to stop a person from hitting the ground if there is a fall from a height so this anchorage is not our subject today i just discuss because these two words hard similar but the meaning is different anchorage is totally related to safety of people what is anchor in a pipeline a pipe anchor is a type of pipe support that is used to control pipe movements by fixing the pipe with the secondary civil structures piping anchor supports are very important A pipe anchor support is a rigid device that completely restricts pipe movement in all three dimensions while bearing the weight, side and thrust loads. It is designed to prevent essentially all pipe rotation and displacement at the point of application. What are the types of thrust blocks? So these thrust blocks are using on the way to construct a piping underground specially concrete thrust blocks concrete thrust blocks are most prevalent type due to their durability strength and versatility concrete's ability to absorb and distribute the large forces make it well suited for a wide range of applications so concrete thrust blocks can be precast concrete blocks manufactured in a controlled environment precast concrete blocks ensure consistent quality and typically used in the standard application where forces are predictable and uniform their premade nature allows for quick installation and reliable performance another is poured in place of concrete blocks for more complex and customized application poured in place of concrete blocks are detailed the method allows for a tailored fit adapting the specific site condition and pipe configurations it ensures that the thrust block integrates seamlessly with the surrounding environment second one is steel thrust blocks Steel thrust blocks are less common but offer advantages in certain situations. They are particularly useful in applications where a high strength to weight ratio is critical such as elevated or suspended piping system. Composite material thrust blocks. Composite material thrust blocks are gaining popularity due to their advanced properties which cater specific needs such as weight reduction and enhance environmental resistance it can be made of fiberglass renowned for its resistance to corrosion and lightweight nature fiberglass thrust blocks are used in harsh environments like chemical processing facilities or marine applications their durability aggressive conditions makes them a valuable choice polymer concrete combining the strength of traditional concrete with the advantages of plastics polymer concrete is an excellent choice for areas with acidic soils or high moisture levels it offers a balance of strength lightweight and resistance to environmental factors pipe anchor support you can see in the photo the thrust blocks how they are being used and some actual photos of anchor supports why pipelines need to be anchored expansion is not only force that can alter the alignment of the pipe vibration commodity turbulence and other external forces such as wind 
कॉज ए पाइप टू मूव ऑफन रेस्ट्रिक्शंस ऑफ ए पाइप्स मूवमेंट बिकम्स नेसेसरी टू प्रिवेंट मूवमेंट एंड टू कंट्रोल द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मूवमेंट पाइप एंकर्स आर ऑफन यूज स्पेशली वेन ए पाइपलाइन लीव्स द फील्ड दैट मीन्स अंडरग्राउंड और अबव ग्राउंड एंड एंटर्स इन एनी फेसिलिटी बोथ एंड्स वाल्व स्टेशन जी जी एम मीन्स गैस गैदरिंग मैनीफोल्ड गॉस्प मीन्स गैस ऑयल सेपरेशन प्लान एट्सेट्रा फुल थ्रस्ट एंकर्स मस्ट बी प्रोवाइडेड टू एंकर द पाइप लाइन एक्सपेंशन हुईच मे ब्रेक द फेसिलिटी पाइपिंग हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ एंकर्स आर देयर इन द पाइप लाइन टू टाइप्स ऑफ पाइप एंकर्स एग्जिस्ट फिक्सड एंड डायरेक्शनल फिक्सड एंकर्स आर इन लोकेशन वेर ऑल मूवमेंट ऑफ ए लाइन मस्ट बी प्रिवेंटेड द मोस्ट कॉमन वे टू एंकर ए पाइप इज टू वेल द पाइप डायरेक्टली टू ए सपोर्ट और ए स्ट्रक्चरल मेम्बर स्ट्रक्चरल एंगल्स अप्रॉक्सीमेटली ट्वेल्व इंच लॉन्ग आर लेट पैरल टू द पाइप वेर इट क्रॉसेस ए स्ट्रक्चरल सपोर्ट एंड आर देन फील्ड वेल्ड टू द पाइप एंड स्ट्रक्चरल सपोर्ट Please check the sketch attached here for your understanding. If the pipe to be anchored is insulated, a pipe shoe is attached to the structural support. How to calculate thrust in pipe? We are not design engineers. Just to have an idea or just for an information, let us discuss this formula. The magnitude of the resultant thrust force is given by T is equal to two into P A sine theta by two. where t p and a are defined t is the thrust force p is equal to the pressure and a is equal to the bend angle what are the thrust blocks thrust blocks prevent buried piping from moving when pressure and thermal loads are applied in effect thrust blocks transfer the load from a pipe to a wider load bearing surface thrust blocks are required where the fittings are used to change the direction like ties elbows uh wise caps valves hydrants and reducers of buried piping system what is a thrust block in a pipeline thrust block in pipeline refer to the concrete blocks provided in buried pipelines for preventing movement and absorbing thrust forces for large buried pipeline the pressure thrust force becomes too large and usually exerted on the elbows and tees thrust blocks are therefore added in those regions to avoid the failure of piping components how to determine the size of a thrust block The size of a thrust block depend on the pipe size, line pressure and temperature, types of fittings, degree of bends and type of soil. In most cases the size and type of thrust blocks must be determined by the engineer through a detailed piping stress analysis and check the soil bearing capacity. If the size of the thrust block has been specified by the engineer, it must be calculated by dividing the total thrust force by the bearing strength of the soil this gives the square feet of the area needed the engineer is responsible person for determining the shear bearing load in pound per square feet or if doubt exists soil bearing test should be done Here are some uh, thrust blocks information and photos are collected from the stressman engineering website this is only for education purpose Here is an example of 90 degree bent thrust block at the left and right side vertical bent thrust block a thrust block prepared for the T right side you can see 45 degree or 22 degree bent there is also a thrust block left reducer thrust block and the right there is a cross cross thrust block here is a specific thrust block for the plugged end Let us discuss what is the difference between the anchor block and the thrust block. The term anchor block and thrust block are used synonymously. In most cases, as the major function is almost similar, both thrust block and anchor block provided in pipeline serves as a anchor to fix the pipeline at location. However, the actual difference arises in use of proper application the main aim of thrust block is to absorb and distribute pressure thrust whereas the main aim of anchor block is to fix the pipeline in position even though at the end of both serves the same purpose 
Other differences between thrust block and anchor blocks are thrust blocks are installed only in changes in pipeline direction but anchor blocks can be installed in line with pipe fittings in between flanges tie in connection with dissimilar material etc thrust blocks are usually cast with a small part of the pipeline fittings inside it however the anchor blocks usually cast all around 360 degrees to encapsulate the full fitting of pipe art here is pipeline anchoring permanent anchorage some glance from a engineering drawing flow lines ask me b31.8 is the source paragraph 834 and 835 provides the guidelines on the design or installation of flow line anchor blocks and supports anchor blocks are used in conjunction with expansion loops near pulsating equipment to prevent excessive vibration and well heads and manifolds where the expansion or contraction forces in the flow line might bend the well head or manifold figure at the left illustrates the construction details of a concrete anchor block for pipelines to prevent thrust forces for damaging the pipe or fitting thrust blocks are frequently used in connection with non metallic flow lines here are actual uh, photos from site Uh, from my project my previous projects uh, to see how a full thrust anchor or fta looks like the black color is for the underground coating to protect the concrete so this is underground paint and you can see the photo at the left why we need to install pipeline anchor flange embedded inside the concrete An anchor flange is force fitting that looks like a well neck flange with shape it resembles a pipe flange but acts as an anchor in pipelines this is the reason they are popularly known as anchor flange anchor flanges are embedded inside the reinforced concrete and are specifically used in pipeline to limit the thermal expansion or contraction forces and thrust forces the weight of the anchor flange is usually estimated according to two well neck flanges of the same size generally anchor flanges are installed on pipelines and embedded in reinforced concrete blocks they are used to restrain or limit main line thermal expansion or contraction and transfer built up stresses anchor flanges are installed in suction and discharge lateral of pumping station at river crossing in cross country pipelines point of directional changes etc you can see some example of pipeline anchor flanges installed how it looks and some engineering drawing where it is being used now we can see the uses of anchor flanges anchor flanges in pipeline are installed in various ways some of the typical locations of installing anchor flanges are points of directional changes suction or discharge laterals of the pumping station at a river crossing connections Anchor flanges are supplied with the end well weevils that match the pipeline wall thickness. Widely used material for anchor flanges are SA105 and high yield strains such as SA694, F52, F60, F65 and 70. In general, the sizes of anchor flanges ranges up to 42 inch. However, larger custom sizes can also be available. Each anchor flange is designed following the rules mentioned in ASME 8 Division 1 with the data taken from the process data sheet supplied by the customer. There are fabricated anchor flanges also in our Gulf oil and gas projects we are generally using the fabricated anchor flanges you can see the photo at the right let me read it for you based on the requirement a fabricated anchor flanges are also installed in pipelines so these anchor flanges are installed with first a sleeve and then some anchors with some structural uh, welding on it these fabricated sleeves are then embedded in huge concrete full thrust anchor um, block to provide full and permanent anchorage of a pipeline the fabricated anchor flanges can be from 4 inch to 16 inch and any custom size if required you can see some fabrication photo the welding is ongoing cleaning is ongoing and coating of the flange is also ongoing most of the anchor especially the biggest anchor are poured at site only 
hello gentlemen that's all for the video today if you guys like the way of my teaching please share and subscribe my channel to your friends also don't forget to hit the like button to inspire me more signing off for today showman